Now we'll look at a Target 12 investigators exclusive. You'll see tonight abandoned barracks. One of Rhode Island's state police barracks quietly shut its doors five years ago, and that made coverage kind of an issue in a large part of the state. Now the head of the state police tells us she wants to change that. Target 12 investigator Tim White found out why he has a preview of what he's learned. If you go to the Portsmouth State Police Barracks looking for help, you'll be out of luck. The historic building closed up shop in 2012 after nearly eight decades as a dispatch point for state troopers. The move increased state police response times to Aquidneck Island and the East Bay. In an emergency, troopers are now sent from the next closest barracks. That's Wickford, 18 miles away. Portsmouth was closed before Colonel Anna Sumpico took the job as superintendent, but she says a shortage of troopers and a larger demand on the agency led to the closure. Are you worried that people in this area, they're in trouble and they drive to the barracks and knock on the door and no one's home? Yeah, uh, we don't like the idea of that at all. They can pick up a phone at the front of the barracks, but it's, it's a great concern to us. Tonight, we get access inside the barracks to take a look at its condition, and we ask the colonel how she plans on getting it reopened. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.